Hello, my friends from all around the world. Good to see you all again. We've got here a 78 Les Paul standard in the kitchen of Essex Recording Studios. It is your buddy Keith here in England, and I can't wait to show you this thing. We bought a big collection of vintage instruments, all from a company that used to supply pretty much every major instrument, main instrument, to every major artist that came to London to record or to tour. And initially the company was um, Audio Hire. Then it became Tickle, which is now, I think still Tickle, but owns and manages and runs uh, FX Music Hire, Audio Hire. So this is the company that if, if you were... Anybody, any A-list star coming to play in the London area, you would have had this Les Paul if you needed a Les Paul standard. So the, the hands that this has passed through, it's just incredible history. Way, way too many names to mention. And we got it directly from the owner of the company. The thing is beautiful. Let's get it out of this flight case. All the guitars, there's a few more over here. Um, a ton in the other room. They all come with these huge, heavy duty. I mean, there's my my hand. This thing is huge, massively weighty, but heavy duty flight case, which you needed to make sure this thing could survive the decades. It's way cool. All right, so let's get this open. Let's get this out. And straight away, we notice a beautiful top, and the binding is actually gorgeous, as are the inlays. They, they look fantastic. I was really surprised. Usually, the, the binding has tons of hairline cracks and fractures, and, you know, this guitar still is a 40-year-old guitar, but it looks phenomenal compared to most of the others I've seen from this era. got a nice maple top. Nickel hardware and the classic vintage top hats for tone and volume. Pick guard's still here, which is kind of surprising. Usually that's one of the first things to go. And there's little marks as to be expected around the guitar. Given 40 years of rock and roll history, I mean, any studio that needed a standard to record, people don't realize this. If you go to Abbey Road Studios, you know, most famous recording studio in the world, they don't really, they don't stock any instruments. You have to go to a company like this to hire them. You can see there's this is the sticker residue from one of the stickers I just showed you in there, and then there was a, another one here. He headstock has never been snapped. No smiles, no repairs, or anything like that. Perfect. You can see a nice flaming in the wood there. Way cool. And then, of course, you're going to have on the back, you're going to have all sorts of buckle rash and stuff because this was used by session guitarists, famous artists, everyone under the sun to perform, gig, and record. But the nice thing is that because it was used and was critical for recording and critical for performances. This thing has always been maintained, ready to go, ready to rock and roll. There's the serial number, 73458699. It's got Schaller, I think I'm pronouncing that right, updated tuners, very common to see. Actually, a lot of the, the guitars we noticed from this company would get upgraded with those tuners. And for something that is a workhorse, it's, it's to be expected. So the back side, you've got obvious wear. But what matters is what people see in the front. And that just looks phenomenal. Fretboard looks great. You've got those fretless wonder frets. And just a beautiful top where you can really see the grain. And this thing's just got mojo. It, it screams vintage, it screams authentic. 
We've already had a few people come by the studio today who saw it and they loved it. And it sounds killer. Well, that gives you a good idea of what this is like in person, guys. If you've got any questions at all, do not hesitate to ask. We're here to help. Leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, head on over to our Facebook. It's Essex Recording Studios. Give us a big fat like, check out some of our posts, check out some of our artists, and stay in touch. All right, we'll see you soon with the next video, guys.